Our lab has also shown that multiple choice tests used as pretests can be effective. What I mean by that is that suppose you are going to study again a passage about the solar system, but before I give that passage to you, I make you take a multiple choice test and it asks you questions about the passage that you're going to be reading. And you're going to make a lot of errors on this multiple choice test. In fact, what we've shown is you're going to get, a, you're going to perform about chance. Nonetheless, that testing before you read the passage is going to improve, or sometimes we talk, talk about potentiate, your study of that passage. You're going to study it more deeply, more effectively, and later you're going to be able to answer questions about that passage better than you would have if I had not given you that pretest, even though you bombed it. So how does this happen? Well, what we think happens is in taking that multiple choice test, you engage in trying to select the answer for however way, however you can. This engages a sort of invokes a kind of deeper processing of both the question and the alternatives. So later, now when you're encountering that information in the uh, in the passage it attracts your attention uh, and you uh, in encode information not only about the correct answer but also about those incorrect alternatives that you in, that you thought about could these be the right answers the multiple choice pretest not only makes you able to answer that same question again should it appear on like a later exam but you're able to answer questions about the alternatives that were the incorrect choices also something you can do as a student um, is to like you're getting ready to study a new chapter in your textbook a lot of chapters will have exams at the back i mean um, practice questions and things like that at the end of that chapter. I know it will seem silly and a waste of time, but force yourself to go back to that end of the chapter and try to answer those questions as best you can. Even though you may come up with some ridiculous answers, some errors, those will get corrected when you then go back and read the chapter and you'll remember the right answers better for having made struggled with those questions and made those errors. So don't be afraid of making errors. If it's a multiple choice question, you'll probably uh, perform a chance. If it's something else, other kinds of questions, you won't be able to uh, maybe generate the right answer. But just trying to do it, even if you generate some wrong answer, is going to make then your study of the chapter more effective. Not only have we found pretesting with multiple choice questions to be effective and to have this to enhance or to potentiate your study of then the information uh, that you're trying to learn, but we've also found this to be the case in a large classroom. So in a very large research methods courses that I teach, we uh, gave pretests at the beginning of some of the lectures and then other lectures we didn't. And for the lectures that we gave the pretests, which were again all multiple choice tests, uh, the students had not heard the lecture yet, they didn't have any way of answering the questions correctly and in fact did perform about it chance. Um, nonetheless, on the final exam, 10 weeks later, they were able to answer questions that had appeared on that pretest better uh, than they would have otherwise. And they were also able to answer questions about the incorrect alternatives or about related information than they were, uh, would have been otherwise. So um, this is not, so this pretesting effect is not just something strange and that happens in the lab, it also happens in the classroom.